Good evening, everyone. Thank you for being here to share this important moment with me. Today, I want to open about a topic that is often seen as uncomfortable, disheartening, but one that has profoundly impacted our lives. Failure. And how those 10 seconds, 3 seconds, 7 seconds can change your life. As a failed businessman with family of pain, and I saw my father struggle to meet daily needs. And I decided I won't let it happen to me. So this thought made me a businessman at the age of 16. And I promised myself I would never fail in life and I would never allow failure in my life. I never wanted to go abroad. But always wanted to fast track my success so that I could take my family out of the situation. I took a bold step, step out of the country in search of success. And guess what? Failure was waiting. I was selected as a supervisor in Gulf and handed over a labor job. I was working at the rate of around 45 degrees away from Riyadh, 300 kilometers in desert. But again, I tried and within 90 days, I was promoted at a managerial level. Within a year, I was sent to France to head operations for in Gulf, where I was trained for styles and cuts with top fashion designers around the world. I was responsible for 67 showrooms in Gulf and was instrumental developing four seasons in fashion industry. These are a few pictures in Paris, long back. Then uh, I was heading towards my success. My family was going through a very bad phase of their life, both professionally as well as personally. When I was on a seven-day vacation, only to realize that my brother-in-law was uh, back then was a very successful uh, businessman was facing hard times on both of the fronts. I have always been close to him as a son. So I took it on me and stayed back to help him out. In course of time, I joined his business to lead a fashionable career in Paris. That time, maybe I failed. Again, tried and multiplied the business in lighting. We were considered as number one in and around Goa and adjoining states. 17 years, I gave it to that. Nurtured it like a baby. Was working around 18 hours, putting everything, even neglected my own health, which I suffer now neglected my family and I was by now heading whole business. I felt this business was mine. Feeling that way and never bothered to have an agreement with my family, that is brother-in-law or no legal documents pertaining to that were done. And suddenly, Ten seconds, my brother-in-law expires, and I, I was shown the way out as unwanted. I had nothing at hand, tiny savings which vanished within a year, no space for office or showroom to operate from. My friend secured me a small mezzanine office floor, uh, mezzanine floor office. And it was even difficult to find my address. But then it was my family and friends helped me morally and financially. One of them is present luckily here amongst us and would be talking about his life 
architect Avinash Borkar, thank you very much, sir. You are an angel. Please give it to him. Once again, with all odds against, I started showroom in garage, which was used for car parking. And four years later, I started my beautiful showroom, amazing showroom, uh, with 450 square meters of lighting dedicated to Goa and Goals. So failure will always knock at your doors. Please don't open that door. Or by mistake or by the situations, by the conditions, you open it, never let it settle down. Failure can take away your 17 years. It was mine, but anybody's. And they never come back. So never let failure come back to you or never let it settle down. Please, guys. Thank you so much.